Hey guys, so this is one of my absolute favorite cakes ever, ever, ever. Oh, orange and almond cake. This one has no flour in it, but when I was in Morocco, I need to get back to Morocco. I need to get to Dublin airport. Oh, I love that airport feeling. I need to get back. But when I was in Morocco, we stayed in this Riyadh and at four o'clock every day, they serve afternoon tea. So it was the mint tea. Which is okay, sometimes it feels a little bit too sweet um, for me, but I do like um, peppermint tea and I like mint tea um, from the Caribbean. We, we drink that a lot, but not as, no, my auntie used to have that sweet as well. What is with the, okay, anyway, I don't like it that sweet, okay? Just a little bit of honey, that's enough. Anyway, moving forward, we're getting sidetracked. We used to have a cake every day. And we had this orange cake and I think I even posted it on Instagram we had this orange cake and I remember me and Olivia were like dear Lord take the wheel because it was so good it was so nice and um, I want to recreate it I made it at Christmas and everybody loved it made it in um, October everybody loved it so I'm gonna make it again and hopefully you will love it and I'll post the recipe up on the Caribbean dub.com so I can have fun now while I'm making it for you guys okay guys two oranges that are about to go off I'm gonna boil them and then I'm going to chop them up when they're cool and then I'm gonna pulse them up yeah make them into a nice little pulp at this point guys you can make more than you can boil more than two oranges and then just freeze the, the pulp for whenever you need it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this into a mixer bowl I'm gonna put this on low and just mix it mix it mix it I'm gonna add some almond flour in there you can get that cheap enough I think super value own brand and Lidl were the two cheapest I can find I think Tesco's have them as well but I don't know how expensive they are their almond flour seems to be very high-end or something but look everything is right now this is uh, March 2022 I'm gonna add some castle sugar in there and then some baking powder there's not that much in this recipe guys it really isn't and then we're gonna just mix it mix it mix it we're gonna add like six eggs in there it's so light it's so fluffy if you think about it you buy this cake for like 450 495 350 a slice and you can bake it for four euro I know it's nice to be out and about but sometimes you can have something nice at home as well so all we're gonna do is mix it mix it mix it while we're adding in the eggs there's nothing complicated here at all guys So I'm going to mix it, mix it, mix it until it's nice and fluffy. All in, all the mixing that you do should be only 10 minutes. This cake is such a simple cake to make, but it's such a crowd pleaser. Like, thank me now. Well, thank me later. Thank me now. I don't know. So I already have a pre-lined, pre-greased um, spring form tin ready. I'm just going to pour this bad boy out. Um, all details will be on the caribbeandub.com once again so yeah I'm gonna just pour this out and I'm gonna bake it for one hour at 160 You definitely don't need to add flaked almonds but I just think it's really nice when it comes out you could dust it with ice and sugar as well but the way you eat this is just simply like this I know people say add yogurt and stuff I'm like no just keep it real with a nice cup of tea and you are laughing laughing now it comes out a nice brown color and I've noticed this, I've tried to bake this a few times and I thought, oh, it should come out lighter. I don't know whether it's my oven or not, but I love the contrast in color when you actually cut it and it's like such a nice surprise. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I do be like, oh God, I hope it comes out, but it always does. It's such an easy cake and if you, want, if you like orange or citrus, you are gonna love this cake. It really is like just melt in your mouth perfection.
Okay, this bit is kind of creepy because I know it's like cake is going to get you, but it's really a nice, nice one. I'm so proud of it. And you can see what I mean about the contrast in color. It's like one of those cakes where you bring to the table and then people are like, mm, she said orange cake, is it going to be? And then they take the first bite and they're like, oh my God, I hope she made more than one. It's that kind of cake. It's that kind of cake. You know, I have to bring it for my dad. Yeah, I need to hear it. You need to hear this. <laughs> 